Hi everyone, I'm back and uh, this is my video about how to access your Google Drive and, uh, and your, your email and Google Hangouts, so all everything that has to do with Google using your own school account. If you don't know your school email address or your Google password, ask your parents to email me and I'll be happy to send that along so that uh, because you'll need that information to eventually get into your email um, account. So I'm just going to turn the camera around now so that you're facing the TV and that you can watch while I uh, guide you through how to do this. So here we go. That's pretty good. You can see my very busy desktop screen. Let's see what? Okay. So the first thing you have to do is uh, just go to any search engine. I'm going to use Chrome. And type in either Divine Infants. Uh, website address or your home school. It works the same way for both. So for Divine Infant, it's D I V dot O C S B dot C A and enter. I'm just going to go close the light here so you can see even better. All right, and it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this, and there's some general information about our school um, right there um, on that screen. What you're going to do is come over here to Student Portal, and your Student Portal has all sorts of activities. It, it's your link to Raz Kids, Zorbits, all sorts of things. So if you click on Student Portal, you're going to see this and you just come over here and scroll down scroll down and you'll see all of these apps look at that you can try any of these here you see your Gmail and your Google Drive your calendar a button to do Google Meets slides you can do book creator you can do a video can try using that if you want to send me things. I'm not, I haven't tried it before, but you can play around with it if you want. Here's Zorbits and Mathletics. Uh, I'll just scroll down here some more so you can see. There's Raz Kids. There's some book sites here too. Starfall has some really cool activities you could do to practice your language. And the one more thing that you can play around with all of these different apps. There, another one I want you to see is down here called Typing Club. And if you click on that, it shows you how to where to put place your fingers on a computer keyboard, and it has practice using your different fingers how to do spacing so that you can get fast at typing. And there's a bunch of others here that I've never even gone into yet, so you might want to play around with all of those. They're good learning apps that the school board has put on there. So now, to get into your email address, because that's where I'll be, that's where I've sent your invitation for our uh, Google Meet tomorrow. So you go to your Gmail and you click on it. But so far they don't know who you are. You've just signed into our website. Now I, this is my email. But because you've never been in there before, you it's going to ask you your address and your password before you'll get to this screen. So if you don't know that, then um, you can get your parents to email me and I'll send it to you. Once you're in your email, you're going to look for one from me. So you see one here from Blake saying that he's accepted my show and tell. He's going to be here tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go to one that I was invited to. Uh, my afternoon class, Emily, our co-op student, has accepted. She's going to come to our show and tell meeting tomorrow. Um, I'm just looking for an invite that I received so you can see. Uh, Queenie's coming tomorrow. 
Gabby's coming tomorrow morning. Oh, here we go. So Mrs. Fournier invited me to a test meeting because we were trying to figure out how this worked. So when you see my name and it's inviting you, you can open that email up. And you'll see something like this. It's showing you that you're invited. And it tells you what it's all about. Mrs. It tells you what time it's going to be at. And Mrs. Fournier's uh, telling me we want to test to see if we can see everyone's emails when we send, so it's just telling me what it's about. So when you first get that invitation, so you can make sure you check to see what day and time it is. And right here you can say, yes, I'm going to be there, maybe I'll be there, or no, sorry, can't make it that I'm not available at that time. So that's all you have to do at first, and then just put it on your calendar so you remember what the day is. And then when it's the time, so say where it's tomorrow's show and tell, and it's at one o'clock or at two o'clock if you're in my afternoon class, you go back into your Gmail, back to, there'll be a new invitation reminder, and here it says joining information, join Hangouts Meet. You just have to click on here, that's the link. We'll see, camera is starting. And then you'll have to press here, join now. I'm gonna join now. There's not gonna be anyone else there because this was an old meeting with Mrs. Fournier, but just so you can see. So now I've joined the meeting and uh, Go. This is to uh, when you're leaving. This one here is important. This is a microphone, and for the most part, that should be off unless you're the one talking, especially when there's lots of people in the meeting. Because if everyone's talking at the same time, it's hard to hear each other. So you just click it to when you're ready to talk, and then you turn it off when you're not talking. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave the meeting. Return to home screen. Okay, so I'm just going to X out of the meeting here and go back to our... Alright, so that's how to get to your Gmail and how to do our Google meeting. So the first time you get your invitation, it'll be quite a few days before the uh, meeting, and you can just indicate yes or no. And then on the day, you go back to your email and you click join here right under it says join click on the information underneath okay so that's how you do that now I'm going to go back to our student portal right beside it right here you see this triangle the green blue and yellow triangle and it says drive in your if you click on that that's your Google Drive and that's where you can store a lot of your work and your information so if you click on that, um, so I have a lot of my in things that I've been working on here. You're going to have a yellow, and I don't think I put one in mine, no. A yellow folder. Yours will look a little different than mine. Um, so you'll have It'll say math and French and English and that kind of thing and language. You'll also have a yellow language class folder. So if you open up that folder, so I'm just going to create a new one just so that you can see. Um, new folder. I'm going to call it just so you can see. I'm going to you don't have to do any of this. I should have done this before starting my video. Language class. Eight. And there's my language class folder. I didn't spell it right, but yours will be spelled right. I'm going to change the color on it because yours is yellow. So I want you to know what I'm talking about. Alright, 
perfect. So when you go into your Google Drive and you're doing work for me, you should always find your yellow folder and open up that up. That's the very first thing you do. Open your yellow folder. There's nothing in here yet. I've not worked, put anything in there. So let's say you're doing writing. You go to new and doc, document. You're doing a document. And there you go. You should start by giving your document a title. So let's say you're doing your routine. So my morning routine. My morning routine. Enter. And I think we're going to change the size. 11 is too small. I'm going to go to 18. And remember your puzzle piece. Grade threes, you know about this. This is new for grade ones and twos. You bring your puzzle piece down, and it gives you an extra, some extra choices here. You should always have the head here on. Let's ask me what I want to work in my account. Okay. Um, read and write. Allow. Yes, I want to use the read and write. Okay. So I'm going to press on the head. And that's just a predictor. That's going to help me when I'm trying to do some spelling. And I'm also going to press on the headphones here that are the, the talk and type. You can have fun with changing colors and stuff, but for right now, I'm just going to do that one and turn it off. When it's red, it's off. All right, so I'm going to start. Whoop. When it's red, it's on, I guess. Okay. So I'm going to write my morning routine. I'm going to underline it, so I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to go over here to underline, because it's a title. And I'm going to enter, and I'm going to take the highlight of the underline off, and I'm going to say first. First, I get up and let my two dogs out for a pee. Then I feed my. See how there's the predictions here? There's some choices. Ro myth. Mr. M Rye. Myself. Mystery. Myth. So it reads out loud each choice. If you don't know how to write a word, you can look down here to see if it's there. Myth. myth. You usually have to have at least the first couple of words. Then I feed my dogs their breakfast. I'm going to start with the B, R, and brook, brook. Oh, and breakfast isn't there, and I don't know how to write it. I'm going to come over here and just say the word. So that means I'm going to erase my beginning here. Okay. Breakfast. Turn the, the talking part off, and period. Then I feed my dogs their breakfast. Next, I go up whoop, upstairs. Now see there's a red line under here? That's telling me that I've made a mistake. There's a spelling mistake. I need to go back and see. Let me see if my upstairs is here. Upstairs. Nope. Upstairs. That's the one I want, so I'm going to click on it. I go upstairs and get... Andy, go. Getting. Dr dresser. And get dressed. I also... ALS. I also... I don't know why it's doing that. I also... Wash my... Wash my more. Face faces and brush and bu my bu brush. hair. Ha hairs. And now I'm going to do finally. I don't know how to write finally. I'm going to use this. Finally. So 
So you have to, when you're using the talking one, you really have to pronounce slowly and carefully. Finally, I have my breakfast, and it's already on then, I can copy. Breakfast, and brush my teeth. I'm gonna do a cute ending sentence. Now I am ready for the for my day. So I'm doing a nice ending sentence. Now you know how I always say read your work before you are done? So you're gonna put see this flashing line that tells you where you're up to? You're gonna put this one that looks like an I, capital I, right to the top. And now you're gonna press the play button and it's gonna read your work. Or it should. Let's see if it works. My morning routine. First, I get up and let my two dogs out for a pee. Then, I feed my dogs their breakfast. Next, I go upstairs and get dressed. I also wash my face and brush my hair. Finally, I have my breakfast and brush my teeth. Now I am ready for my day. If you come over here to the star here to explore, you can even add a picture. So up here in the search, I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, maybe a toothbrush because I talked about brushing my teeth. Tooth, oops, brush. I'm going to go under images. Okay, I like this one, so I'm going to press the plus button and it will add it to my work. There we go. If you click on it, you can make it smaller. Scrunch it out a little bit. There we go. All right, and now that you've worked on it, you don't have to save it. You don't have to. It's a Google Doc, it's in your yellow folder, and the great part is, is that I can see everything that everyone has done in their yellow folder, so you don't have to email me or anything. It's automatically there. If you want to make sure I see it, you can go to Share up here, and you just put my email address here, and your parents know my email address, so you can just put my email address here and press done. And there I go. Just say done. I'm going to just X out of that back to your drive. So here I am in my yellow folder. So if you've done a video and your parents want to download it, they can download it into your drive. If they're working on their computer, they can save it to the desktop and then just drag it into the Google Drive choosing the yellow folder preferably. If you haven't picked the yellow folder you can just open the drive and press share and share it to me with email or you can email me and let me know that it's in the drive and I'll just go in and see it myself. So there's lots of ways if you're doing videos for me that are too long put try uh, save them into this yellow folder or just drag them into the Google Drive. You can try sending it regular if the, uh, the video is not too, too long, but you can use your Google Drive for anything like that. So I hope that was helpful. Next week, I think I'll do another video on how to use Google Read and Write and Google Docs and um, teaching you a few other things on there. And I would really like, if you're doing any kind of writing, you are certainly allowed to type and do it right in your documents if you want. You can always just do pencil and paper if you want to just do that. That's okay too. I'm just showing you this as another option. Grade threes, you already know how to use this. So you should be practicing um, now and again, maybe one time do pencil and paper and one time work in your Google Docs because in grade four, uh, they use this quite a bit. So it's it would really good practice for you for next year. If you're in grade one or two, we'll be doing more of this when we get back to school. But if you want to give start and give it a try, then that's great. And it is a great way to be able to share videos. 
but I really wanted to show you how to get into your Gmail so you can accept the invitations and know how to join our Google Meet session. So I hope that, uh, I'll turn it back, I hope that video was helpful. And if you have any more questions, something's not clear, feel free to um, email me, parents, and I'll be happy to clear anything up for you. Have a great day.